Ah, yes, the sawmill will let us harness the power of wood. Would, would it? <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> oh my god, the puns are real. Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome to Crashlands, an outlandish story-driven crafting adventure set in a world of hidden magic and high technology. This game probably has the most amazing trailer that I've ever seen. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today, guys. I'm here to bring you a little bit of Crashlands, which, like I said, is described as an action RPG. They say that you can tame and even milk beasts, craft resources into menacing weapon weaponry, befriend the locals, and go toe-to-chin with some world-dominating maniacs, all in the name of on-time delivery. So... Like I said before, the trailer was absolutely amazing. They started talking about a lot of cool stuff that I really, really liked. And upon further investigation in the game, you can move seamlessly between PC and mobile. So, very, very excited to bring Crashlands to you. It's out a little bit before I normally expected. There was an embargo that was actually um, lifted. So, here we go into the first episode of Crashlands. Here's to choose your difficulty. Exploration, which is the easiest, well-balanced for most players. I like the sound of that. Normal difficulty. Combat should provide a fun and manageable challenge. Challenge means creatures will be tougher than normal. And insane is high-stakes combat. Everything is very hard. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go with adventure. And let's see. Checking campaign version. Unpacking biome. All right. Bureau of Shipping. Shipment. Shipping ship. <laughs> what? B S S S A S S E S S. Transport of Flux. Uh, oh my lord. Supervisor. Pallet Unit 42A Juice Box. Courier Contract Requirements. Deliver three packages. Uh, <laughs> this is this is silly. And then I said, Hey, that's not a USB port. Ha ha ha, USB port my sides. Hey, did I hear laughing? You've got packages to deliver. Laughter impedes productivity. Be Butterscotch Danny. No sir, Flux was choking. That sounded like a, t a, a titter? What? Nope, she's totally choking. <laughs> well, we'll see who's choking when I cut 5% from your pension. Wow. Was there something you needed, sir? I need a status report on your package delivery. Two weeks until we arrive, everything is on schedule. Good. And remember, those packages can't have a scratch on them. This isn't our first rodeo, sir. Uh, Wagaga? Her blog. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Something just popped our warp bubble. We've stopped moving. Engines must be dead. That shouldn't even be possible. Let's get the engines restarted. Slap that control panel to your left. Alright, I guess that's it. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Did you make sure it's plugged in? Well, hello there, space travelers. Welcome to planet Wonope. <laughs> what? Oh, God. What are you? I'm Hoogaduka? Wait. Hoogaduka. Yeah, Hoogaduka. <laughs> that can call me Hoogaduka because, as I said, my name is Hoogaduka. <laughs> Sorry to pull your little space truck out of space warp like that, but I... Wait. I needed a quick space favor. We're on a pretty tight schedule, floating head guy. Ahem. I'm working on a little science project, but I need a quantum electro dongle. <laughs> These names are so perfect. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? We do, but it's part of our ship. Removing it would cause the ship to explode. So exploding the ship would cause the electro dongle to be removed. That logic checks out. Great. <laughs> okay, what the heck here? All right, I guess it's going to land us on the planet here. He spot wow. What the heck? He just he just busted us. Remind me to replace your judge of character chip. No time for finger pointing. We will revisit this later. To the escape pod. First things first, save the packages. Your pension won't go worth <laughs> won't be worth anything without them. Wow. Okay, so I've got some packages. I guess, do I... Oh, no, these aren't the packages. Ah, that's a package. All right, I guess. Yes, one down, two to go. Let me just open these doors. Beep, boop, boop. The electric shocks look deadly. Be careful. All right. Make your way back after you get the packages. All right. So I got to get... Is that a package? No, that does not appear to be a package. All right. 
So it looks like I have to go... Ah, okay, I see. So this is the electric shock, and that's the radius of it. I should be able to get around it. Perfect. Got the second one. One left. Head back to the upper room, grab the space wrench, and hit those shocking barricades until they explode. Okay, head back to the upper room, it said. All right, let's go into the upper room. There's the space wrench. Okay, now I got the space wrench. I can press A to equip it, I suppose. All right, now it just explodes. That's pretty cool. Very cool. There's my third one. Done. Now let's get to the escape pod at the back of the ship before the whole thing blows. All right, and it led down the doors. Oh, oh, it took some damage there. Okay, there appears to be my life. 43 out of 50. Hurry, hurry. There are space duck piles in the side rooms. Flux, we don't have time for that. There's always time for a pie. Space duck pies can heal wounds and they're delicious. <laughs> let's talk about feelings and more grabbing of pies. We gotta go. All right, as soon as this is done, we'll grab that. These are the pies, I'm guessing. And there's also some stuff below here, along with some pies. We're gonna check that out. There's more pies. I don't guess these are anything right here. All right, oh, hold on. The controls seem very straightforward. Just left click for goodness. All right, I think I'm just gonna go on through. If you need to hold my wrench juice box, we'll be coming in hot. <laughs> what? All right, let's go. I can't believe the A-S-S-S-A-S-S-E-S-S -S 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 has been destroyed. <laughs> oh, that's our escape pod. All right, and this was the cover. Crashlands. Really, really cool. Okay. And using a bed lets you sleep through the start of the next day or night. Okay, I guess this is where we're crashing. So this game is going to look a lot like Don't Starve, guys, as far as the, the playability. What a majestic landing, Flux. Wheeze, I think you used up a kidney on the dismount. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you've still got one left. Let's finish the delivery. What about the alien maniac who just blew up the ship? We, do, we just need to contact the Bureau of Shipping so they can send the space rescue space truck before he shows up again. So, we'll need to build an advanced comm device. With sticks and flowers? Guess we should get the base of operations started with sticks and doing. I deployed the survival station just space, just south of the escape pod. Why don't you make some floors out of the sawgrass? Throw some blades onto the survival station to build them. Okay, crafty contact, new story. So, I guess this is the escape pod, and this is... This is where we can craft from. There's a bunch of things we can construct here. What is this? Thatched wall? We need... What is that? Saw grass blade? And we also need... Sticks. Okay. And this is thatched saw floor, which we need sawgrass blades. Okay, so we're gonna need sawgrass blades, which are right here. Okay, fair enough. So also, and these are sticks, that's good. It's so also this game, the inventory manages itself, meaning that you'll never have to sort inventory, worry about storage, none of that stuff. You have infinite inventory from what I understand. Or at least that's what the, uh, that's what the, the trailer said. So I'm excited about that. I'll play a lot of survival games and inventory management is always something. Not only is it something to worry about, uh, I am notorious for having bad skills at inventory management. So it looks like I got a couple things there. Let's see. This is, what do I need? I need a saw to cut that. All right, so some resources need a different type of tool to harvest them. It looks like I got some kibweed as well. What is kibweed? Kibweed, sawgrass deconstructed. Okay, let's see, what, what are these things? Oh, I could step on them. What happened? It doesn't do anything good or bad from what I see. Bacon weed. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Bacon weed. That sounds like something you'd find in a head shop. All right. Let's grab. There's another. Oh, yeah. Of course I want the bacon weed. We have three now. All right. This is quite a bit of sawgrass. Uh, we have sawgrass leaves. Let's see. What's our inventory? Is it Q? Uh, chat log, totals, quest data, uh, what is inventory? 
Okay, we have 18 out of 10 for this specific one. Is a menu? Nope, that's not it. How about I? That's not it either. W is the build mode, floor mode. You have no spaces. Q's there. What? Let's see. We got quest, data. Aha! This grass is super sharp. Okay, so it kind of tells you about it. Um, that's neat. All right. Let's see here. So we can go here. We can build this now. And we still need some sticks. All right, we got... Did I just throw that away? How did... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. This is the inventory. All right. Um, It looks like I just did... What did I do here? Did I mess that up? I think I did. Yeah, I sure did. I would have had some stick. Let me grab another stick here and I can I can remake that. I'll also grab a couple bacon weed <laughs> and we'll go back to it. Okay, build. All right, poke to retrieve. I guess we got it already. Okay, so now we can go into what? This looks like we need two more sawgrass for that, which we can probably grab just from this one plant. Okay. Two. Now I got it. Now I can do the other deal. Uh, let's see here. Build. All right. Now what's this going to poke to retrieve finished items? Tin thatch saw floor. Okay. So I got the saw floor and I got thatched walls now. Now use build mode to put those down. Very good. Is the hammer icon in the bottom left of the visitor's interface? I swear they changed the UI with area update. <laughs> That's funny. Yep, just open that thing up and put down some flooring. Okay, so we'll go there and we can put down flooring. Uh, is that all I can put down? Oh, I can actually kind of draw it out here. Why do they have X's right here? I guess that's it. And you can just undo it just by left clicking here. Very good. Okay. We got that. That's done. Um, all right, let's go back. Nice. Hey, I'm... Uh, wait. I see some tree-like things down out in the distance. You could cut those down for wood. Okay. Let me use my analysis engine to design the good tool. A good tool. Your visor tracks the material you need in the upper right corner. Now get to building this thing. Aha. Booyah. Time to make that locally sourced saw. Okay, so now we can make a saw. We need sawgrass and sticks, which this is pretty simple. What is this? Schematic discovered. Aha! So you'll be able to make these anytime you want, not just via quest. All right, fair enough. Now, these, these little mobs that are showing here, they don't look like they're much of a threat, which I guess is good because I really don't have a weapon. Now, that right there looks like some sort of creature hey are you friendly rhinoceros on a foot thing are they gonna attack no they're not attacking womp it a womp it is that one of those things like from star wars isn't that what they call those those things womp it's all right another thing is like i don't know where i don't have a map so i don't know where my camp is at all times that's kind of weird. I need to kind of figure that out, I do suppose. Okay, more sawgrass and more sticks. Here's the sawgrass. And then the one more stick. Perfect. All right, so we should be able to craft that now. Is that in this menu? Time to make a locally... So okay, good. Collect, I got that. Booyah, okay, it doesn't tell you. Where is the craft menu? Then Ah, look, there is a map. Aha! Perfect, and we can use W, A, S, and D to move around. Perfect, all right, so what about crafting here? I guess this is the crafting station. You have to do it at this station. So, tier one saw, made of sawgrass. This is the mediumest quality saw you've ever seen, but it should let you chop down log trees and whistle roots. Okay, we'll build it. And now I got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Check out my saw. It's awesome. It's... Oh, God. It's awesome. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Where'd it go? Whenever you need the suit, we'll teleport right into your hand. Ah. Whenever you need it, your suit... 
Okay, guess I was doodling during that meeting. Neat. Why don't you doodle a sawmill into existence then? You'll need better stations to get a proper comm device built anyway. Ah yes, the sawmill will let us harness the power of wood. Wood? Would it? <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> oh my god, the puns are real. How can I tell if I have enough parts when I'm out exploring? Slap the enormous track button next to build when you're inside survival station. That'll put components on your hood. Sweet, it's like a grocery list burned into my eyes. I'll do that before I'm heading out. Okay, so we're gonna get this schematic. All right, now if we look at this, there's a track button, did it say? Uh huh, wait, maybe this. Track. I don't see. Data? Juice pack? No. Why don't you saw me into existence? Slap the enormous track button next to build when you're inside the survival station. I got you. Um, let's see. So I need this. There's the track button. Now tracking recipe sawmill. Perfect. Okay. So to make a sawmill, I'm going to need some of these pieces of wood here and some sawgrass. And there was... I'm going to grab sticks along the way as well. It always seems to be sticks and weeds. I wonder if my saw has any durability. I wonder if that's a thing your ability it does not does not appear it seems like it would be very evident if there was right okay there's one of those there are trees that we need we'll grab that oh man collecting crafting <laughs> this is a gamer's life okay so I got plenty of sawgrass but I don't have enough of these trees I did get one though so let's go over here I wonder will these yield it too Oh wait, that's whistle root. Okay, we don't had we didn't have any of that. We don't need it yet, but we'll grab it anyway because it's available. And why not? So we'll grab all this. <laughs> okay, perfect. Ah, uh, there's a couple more trees over here. Very good. I wonder if we're gonna have to do anything with these rhinoceros feet thingies. I don't know why I'm calling it a rhinoceros. It's, it almost looks like it would be a rhino without the horn, and then they have four ears. Oh, wait, is it turning dark? It's getting hard to see out here. Well, yeah, it's a thing called darkness. <laughs> I'm going to need some light so I don't fall into the horrible alien field pit. Wait, let me see. Boop, 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 scanning for ship debris. It's one of the lamps from the ship landed somewhere nearby. I marked it in a probable area. It's on your map so you can find it. Hit the map icon in the bottom left corner of your visor to see where the light source is and lug that meaty body over <laughs> of it over here. Okay, so let's check the map, uh, which is the E key, which seems a little bit weird. Okay, light source is to the right and down. Very good. Well, not really down. I do have a few more logs that I need, so I'll grab those on the way and we can get right started with it. Some plain ooh, them's are some bugs. I don't know if they bad bugs, but I know I wouldn't want to slap them. So yeah, I am playing this game at night, and it's later than I usually record. But I think I'm going to let this go first thing in the morning, and I'm gonna play some more tomorrow. Looks like you guys got everything you need, but your harvesting trips and are starting to stray pretty far from the ship. Yeah, I'm getting tired of walking back all the time to build stuff. You forgot about the ship teleporter, didn't you? You can teleport to the ship from the map. Give it a go with... I'll teleport you. Teleport sh teleportation buddies. Okay, so we got all of the stuff that we need. Oh, and there's some more stuff around where that water's at. I do want to go where the light source is first. E is on the map. Light source looks like it's down from here. I'll go ahead and just harvest this. Okay, sawgrass deconstruction, a little bit more wood. Where is this light source? Almost there, it seems like. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Can I get across the water? Uh, looks like it's on a little island and I can't swim. <laughs> okay, build some floors and make a bridge. Uh, that's pretty neat. So, we can just do that? Hold on, can I build, like, right here? 
ship floor. It's floor from your ship. I sure can. Okay, there was only one, but I had it. All right, now I can get across. Neat. This thing is bright. What if I... Wait. What if I want to whip my sawgrass out and chop down more log trees? Your torch goes into a special slot in your suit. I whip... I'll equip... A whip. I'll equip whenever it gets dark so you don't have to worry about scary nighttime. Best nighttime ever. So he just equips it whenever it's dark. This is really, really cool. Okay. I really like the way this game handles inventory management so far. This is really neat. It's really effortless. <laughs> and the game seems a lot of fun. Now I need to get back to my camp. Where is it at? Okay, I have to go down and to the right just a little bit. I haven't really lost any health yet. And I still got these pies and stuff. Uh, so... Let's see, and we can finally make the workstation, the sawmill. Let's build it. And poke to retrieve finished items. Yes! Station assembled! Is that all the recipes I could build? Holy cow. Pretty cool. Wow! So many things to build. Time to rev up the old sawhorse. <laughs> uh, where did it go? It's in your suit. Use build mode and hit the infinity symbol to access all the structures you've got stored there. When you can select the sawmill and put it whenever, wherever there's something, some sturdy floor. Okay, so build mode, infinity symbol. I like how it gets all light where you can build too. And it looks like I have it where? This is log tree seeds, sawgrass seed, thatched wall, sawmill. Okay, so I could place the sawmill what happens floor mode you have no floors to place oh no I don't want floor mode infinity this workbench with the circular saw will allow you to craft all kinds of masterpieces it doesn't tell me okay hold up hold up do I can I just build it right here hold on build mode there. Now I placed it. That was weird. I just... <laughs> I guess it just didn't click. But blam Hey, juice box. I feel like you're being watched. <laughs> do you think who could do is out there? Undoubtedly. He probably thinks we exploded, which, which should buy us some prep time. I'd feel better with some armor for both dealing with Hugo and those stomping beasties. Oh, those are the stomping beasties, not stomping rhinos, apparently. Why don't you start with a wooden chest plate? Protect that one kid <laughs> of yours. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Oh, and keep your eyes peeled for the sentient life. According to the Bureaupedia, the Tyrant, wait, the Tindrum, half goat, half plant creature live here. Very good. I'll get the schematic, and now I can make the log chest. Very cool. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I am going to get right back into it first thing in the morning and give you guys some more Crashlands content. If you guys did like the video, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Also, check the links in the description for more information on Crashlands. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. So you can rank up the equipment to get better. I see now. I love that.